Uh, these last ones have been pretty good. Uh, what's like the secret <laughs> for you? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey guys, it's Carla. I'm here in the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen today with the Try Guys, whose first book is out now, wherever books are sold. And the name of the book is? The Hidden Power of F***ing Up. It's a self-help book from four people that can't help themselves. That's us. Today, we have a mere 20 minutes to make a luxury surf and turf carpaccio. And we have to see if the Try Guys can follow along with me through verbal instructions only. We're gonna turn around and start cooking, but first I need to know who's going first. I'm Keith. going first. Keith is going first. Okay, so on a count of four, we're gonna turn around and start cooking. Ready? One, two, two three, four. Let's do it. Oh, let's go, okay. let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We have a few different things going on and there's gonna be handing off. The first thing is look into this big bucket of ice uh -huh. and I want you to locate the filet mignon, which is uh, wrapped in a torchon shape. Yeah, I got it. Okay, great. Wrapped in a what? In a torchon. Yeah, a yeah, torchon. Torchon. Yeah, tor tor torchon. Tor tor and so with those shears that you've already located, just snip this guy open. Snip, snip. It's a little bit frozen, which is gonna help us with the slicing. Yeah, it's very and cold. With the long slicing knife. Beautiful. I want you um, to make one cut. Let's just square this off because it's like a tiny bit uneven from one end. Wow, slice cool? it off to kind of square it off. Yeah, right? so it's a more straight edge. We want to get like perfect, very thin slices that perfect. are as thin as you can make them without them tearing. Okay. okay? Try not to saw back and forth. So. <laughs> He's already. Are you already you're already slicing, huh? aren't you? Yeah, I started slicing. Okay, cool. Well, there's I'm, not a lot of time. No, I was just talking. So, with like a minimal so amount of back and forth. Saw, she said. How much back and forth? Two. Whoa. One. Yeah. You'll, I like to start at the heel of the knife, so like dragging it back towards yeah. me as oh, I go nice. down, and then pushing it back away, and that gives me. Oh, I'm tearing it all up. Well, mine is kind of breaking naturally in the middle, but I'm not. Oh yeah, mine's breaking naturally, actually. <laughs> I wasn't tearing it. The biggest thing is like, we really want it in one piece. How, how are you doing this in one piece? It is shredding. Really? Okay, Actually. you might need to go a little bit thicker. I think I what's happening like... is you're trying to go so thin that you're shredding. Yeah, yeah but how thin? Jim, give me a number. A this. millimeter? I don't know. A I'm... millimeter? <laughs> I'm definitely thicker than a millimeter and it's all over the place. If you have one that, that tears, it's okay. They all have torn. <laughs> put it to the side. Are any of them? Put them to the side. Yeah. I put them in a, I put them in the good pile. All right. Well, They're all the same. Maybe rotate. How is it keep tearing? I want you to try putting the knife, starting at the heel of the knife. That's a pretty good instead one. Instead of in the middle. And press down, drag it back towards you as you go all the way to the front of the knife. Right? Oh. Yeah. Use the entire length of that blade, I guess yeah, is what I'm trying to say. I get it. I, did, I wasn't using enough pressure. Okay. Yep. Oh, oh, God! It broke again! <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, no. I'll put this in the no pile. How many good ones do you think I should end up with? I think we need about eight good ones. Oh, no. I'm going to give you two to three. Uh, we're going to need more than that because they have to cover the whole surface of that plate. Well, we'll have to use some shreds then because I'm still shredding them pretty good. Yeah, how do you guys feel? I don't know who chose the order, but usually you go out with your like one of your strongest runners in the front of the relay. How do yeah. you feel like you're doing? Oh, Keith is our strongest. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, it's, it's purely downhill from here. So <laughs> this is the height of our cooking prowess. Today. This is not going well. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm all the way to the string and I haven't gotten a lot of success. <laughs> I've got nine that I feel pretty good about. Nine? Yeah. Wow. How many? feel pretty good about do you have? Two and a half. Uh, these last ones have been pretty good. Uh, what's like the secret <laughs> for you? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I bet I've got about eight. All right, are, are all right. <laughs> okay, so now the next thing is we're gonna pull out a, sh a sheet of plastic wrap, but okay. we need an area where we can put um, a large piece of plastic wrap, like as <laughs> <laughs> sort of half the size of the cutting board, maybe over on one side of the cutting board. Yeah, I, I got you, girl. Okay. I think about five slices are going to fit in here. Uh -huh. And then we're going to put another piece of plastic oh, over that. And then when you have a <laughs> plastic wrap sandwich. I've got the sandwich ready. Okay, so now using the flat side of the mallet. Yep, and go thin as 
as you can, but again, we don't want to shred it. Wow. Oh, right? This, this, this is, is so satisfying to watch. All right, are we flattened? We are flat. With your flattened pieces of filet, working either from the center out to the edges or edges back into the middle like a rosette, I want you to make a beautiful meat landscape. Should they be like cute, cute and artfully stacked or what? Uh, the ones that are on the plate? Yeah. I want them to be or covering as much of the plate as possible. Yeah. And so that it looks like you have a plate made out of meat. Yeah, 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 a meat plate. A meat plate, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody loves meat plates. All right, my plate is beef. All Woo! right, beautiful. So now before you hand off, take the squeeze bottle of olive oil yeah. and just give everybody a nice yeah. drizz. Nice. How much oil? Um, drizzle, just a little bit of drizzling everywhere. <laughs> yeah, no one ever it. It. Yeah. yeah, there's some nice flaky salt. Yeah. I want you to use a little salt all over everything. And then it's time to hand off. Okay. Okay. Who's, Who's next? next? Me. So Ned. Oh God. You got just wipe down your cutting board. Should I throw out my? Uh... Oh, I hit <laughs> you you a just laptop. Their computer. Keyboard. You know the only person who uses that one is Claire, so it's fine. Oh, tell no. Yeah. <laughs> Someone tell Claire there's raw meat juice on her keyboard. <laughs> we'll let her know. Courtesy of the Try Guys. <laughs> Have you located your tuna? Yes. A rectangular tuna. packet. And I want you to unwrap that. Okay, yeah. thank goodness. This like should be that. a little bit easier yeah. because the fish is so much more delicate and it's not as uh, wide to get from top to bottom. Really thin, but not so thin that they shred. Oh, I don't know if this is thin enough. Don't stress. They're cute. Okay, you're right. Can someone like give me a, a little shoulder rub to just help me like? My hands are getting contaminated. My hands smell shirt. crazy <laughs> from the beef. Ooh, that was a nice I one. I like how Great. that one looks. I'm, I'm slicing them and arranging them in one big circle yeah. so I can see them all at once. So you got I think I got enough. All right, so let's go back for a plastic sandwich. And just stagger them. Yeah. Pounding is imminent. Okay, but listen. What? Yes, tuna yes. is more um, fragile okay. of a protein than the meat. So, so use the just greedy go side. No, like no. light taps to begin with. Light taps. Yeah. We still want to flatten, but if you just really whack it, it's going to tear it. <laughs> yep, you're right. You're right. That was way too hard. Okay. See, you had just hard. had to see for yourself. But now you believe me more. I, I do. It's kind of what we're all about, you know? You got to make the mistake. Yeah, I learn. agree. It's like letting a child burn itself, which is a thing I did with my own children. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. I love to let children burn themselves. You can only say no hot so many times. When you said that we're going to be like your children today, did you mean you're going to light us on fire? <laughs> tuna, flat tuna pieces. Do we yeah, have tuna shingles? You can get a little um, creative okay. here. Okay. I, w I still want to be able to see the Put meat. And if you tuna. want to like, Tuck a tuna under <coughs> over. Do you know what I mean? Tuck a little tuna in a. It's like little... you're tucking it into bed. Yes, yes exactly. Good night, tuna. <laughs> yeah, make a little rose. Sure. A little something at the top. Get on there. And yeah, then who's going after Ned? Eugene. Me. Woof. I'm very excited, Eugene. You have a great job. I'm so excited, too. Right, we are done. We got tuna tucked into bed. Good night. Fabulous. Hello, Eugene. Woo! I uh, still didn't get it. Before you go, quick drizzle. Just a little drizz. That's okay. I just don't want to. That's a lot. Okay. Perfect. All right, handing off. Awesome. Carla, okay. I'm ready. We are doing the scallop. So there's two live scallops sitting on the ice. They're alive? The end is nigh. Okay. So pick up the scallop. You're going to notice one side is more curved than the other. There's like a yes. flatter side and a curved side. Oh. On the little equipment tray, there's also a clam knife. I, I know this, yeah. What I want you to do is you can use um, a dry kitchen towel and just kind of anchor the, the hinge end, I guess, of the scallop, right? With your non-dominant hand. And you okay. Just Both of Eugene's hands just, are dominant. And then okay. I want you to take the knife and I want you to, keeping it as close as possible to the top shell, and kind of scraping it along the shell so that you separate the scallop body that is hanging on up there for dear life. Hi, Gabby. Does that make sense? Hi, Gabby. Hi, I love you. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. And so once you cut it Dr. through, yeah. like when you get it, the, the shell should hinge open for you. Do scallops feel pain? Nope. Do they have families? No. Do they write books? No. We do. Definitely not. Then you can pull the top shell off and you're going to see. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. So 
you should see, do you have coral in yours and is it red? Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's like a slab of roe. There's some gunky stuff right up by the hinge. There's a like dark Whoa. outer oh thing. Oh my God, what is that? <laughs> like a liver. Is that a liver? Is that and his poop? Maybe digest. I think sack? the digestive tract is round, but the but that like white kind of bullseye in the middle. That's the scallop. Yeah, itself. I recognize that part. The rest and is nonsense. The other stuff we're gonna get rid of, but first you just need to free everything from the bottom of the shell. Okay, so just slide it yeah, underneath. Just yeah, pushing that knife again underneath the body, and then to remove that whole outer ring and the livery-looking guts and stuff and the coral. It just, it's like almost like it's wearing a belt with all that stuff attached, and you just pull it off from the. Such a fashionable belt. Right? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. What's oh. happening? No. It's supposed to happen just like, like it's organically. So natural. It's really releasing it for this week. Just like you said. The, yeah. <laughs> oh. Are you still trying to get all the outer stuff off? Yeah, he's degunking. He's degunking. Okay, and did it pull apart kind of like... Supernatural. A, so, so, <laughs> so, oh, so beautiful. Effortlessly. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! He did it, he did it. That was pretty top. good. Okay, great. So All now put, dirty hands let's just pat right this now. guy dry. Got so it. with a nice flat hand, and then just going from one side to the other. How many do you want to uh, get out of one scalp? Three like to four would be amazing. That was a good dish. That was a good... I mean, they're slippery little suckers. They are. Thing. Oh, this one was not oh, as good. No. It's okay, it's okay, bro. Well, it's still no. kind of a disc. It's kind of a disc. Hey, I'm Carla. Just hey, Carla. Carla. Yeah, talk to me. Talk you, to me what's happening. Does the BA Test Kitchen realize how popular they are online? We love, love making videos. She's like, yes. Yeah, you're like our, you're like <laughs> so love, many people's adoptive family. I, it makes me really happy. Yeah. I can't tell you how happy it makes me. It's a joy. I wanted to bring like a stress reliever for Claire. Yeah, sometimes. There are days. <laughs> there are days when she's so mad. Eugene has watched every video every, you've ever made. Every bon really? I don't watch much YouTube, but I'll watch all the Bon Appetit videos. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. It's really about y'all. It's Thank really you. about y'all. Thanks. Good discs, man. Pretty okay. Nice discs. We got them rounds. Yeah, we got six. <laughs> six? Okay, that's great. Eugene, just go ahead and plate the ones that you already cut here and there, and then we'll do the other one. And I bet the second one's gonna go even better. All right, second clam. The Maybe second clam is a scalp. So just remember, flat side up. Yes. So while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna compliment the BA test kitchen. <laughs> Gabby's I, so sweet. Gabby's the best. Gabby's the best. Oh no. The gut sack is open. Uh, gut sack is gross. open. <laughs> What do you mean the gut sack is open? It's I, open. It's spewing guts everywhere. Oh, no. around Matt, one. I don't think that's guts. I'm just I'm just digging in. <laughs> you guys are not queasy or like Just because we try everything doesn't mean we've yeah. tried everything. <laughs> we can still be shocked. Alright, let me know when you're close to having a beautiful milky white scallop. Oh, almost. There's there's some chunky things, but I'm gonna just keep <laughs> taking it off with my Polished fingernails. Yeah. All right, then, I'm not yeah. as happy with my second round slicing, but I hope you are. And now you I'm know, gonna put them on I the plate. You know, I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, Eugene's got better, I'd say. Amazing. And let's get ready for I relay number ones. four. Okay. Because right. Zach's gonna gunk. take it home. I'm up last, I'm ready to bring this home. I trust that you have given me the easiest job. I have, sort of. No, you have to just do the vinaigrette and all the assembly. So Oops. look beyond the fish tray and grab the bowl that has a shallot in it. Beyond the fish beyond tray. Beyond the fish tray. Now the shallot is the the one that's like a bulby. Yeah, it looks like a little red onion. I got the shallot. Zach, is this the first time you're touching a shallot? No. No. Cool. Okay, so just grab that. You've got grainy mustard. You've got an adorable little squeeze bottle of champagne vinegar. Oh, you can that's bring that. This <laughs> you cut the cut the tip off of the shallot, I have, I, I, and then cut it in half um, lengthwise through the root. Oh, this is so scary. And we only need one half. You got it. And then we got to do a very fine dice, very thin. So I make thin slices going from top to bottom lengthwise, and spacing them kind of as close together as I can. Wait. Top to bottom lengthwise. Am I doing it wrong? Why so it? from the... Oh, I don't know. I'm I, I'm not the one. Guys, we You're... are in this together. Okay. We're not supposed to lengthwise. Yeah, I kind of wasn't listening, okay. to be okay. honest. Do you have your long cuts done? Uh, yeah, but I always get really scared when I get close to my finger. 
once you've made the long cuts going from the root end to the to the pointed end, yep. then just rotate the shallot and cut crosswise. So this is going to get us oh, basically wow. oh, fast track to mince mincing. Yo, you're on I your clock. Judging you're, you guys. We're not judging. We're trying, trying to, to offer, You literally yelled at us for not helping you. Now we're trying to help you, and you're yelling at us. Yo, Zach, I'm here for you. Carla's here for you. She's Thank yours. you, Carla. I'm literally right here. You're so close, but so far. And She's then whatever pile of shallot you've created, just go through that chopping again. Just putting the knife through it backwards and forwards, just doing a fine chop, which you should be most of the way there because of the work we already did. I feel pretty good about this. Great. So once you have it where you don't see any more like big pieces, yep. let's just use the knife to scoop that back into that small bowl. I just like use the knife as a shovel. And then grab that tablespoon measure. Yeah, tablespoon of vinegar. The, what, the squeezy bottle of vinegar. The little squeezy bottle of vinegar. Does champagne vinegar get you drunk? Hammer. Wanna try it out, Ned? And then a big pinch of kosher salt. You have two bowls of salt, the one that's more fine. <laughs> it's vinegar, bro. <laughs> and then you said salt? Yep, big pinch of salt. Big pinch. And big then pinch. grab the fork and just get all the shallots coated in vinegar. Give me what you think is about a teaspoon of mustard right into the shallot mixture. Like a heaping teaspoon? Yeah, like a heaping teaspoon. Yeah, and then a tablespoon like of olive oil. Yeah. That's a lot. Table. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is your vinaigrette. Guys, I'm having a great time, you know? Yeah, this is nice. This is fun. I feel like That's I the most important. The vinaigrette, I mean. Yeah. And then you just give this a taste. All right. You might want more salt. It should be pretty vinegary, though. Oh, it's really vinegary. I dab, yeah. Well, and now good. grab that bundle of chives. Bundle! Bundle it up. It looks like when, when they put Moses down the river. Mm. It's in a little blanket. Yeah, that's, that's looks exactly like Moses. what I thought. <laughs> Moses. Looks just like Moses what down the river. What do you want me to do? Very thin rounds. Very thin. Like um, perfect for a baked potato. Perfect for a baked potato. Yeah. Perfect for And we only need about a tablespoon of these two, so you won't need to chop that whole bundle. And then that goes right also into your vinaigrette. And you said it's a tablespoon total? I, I like I like these, so I'm just going to give us a little extra. A little Ooh. extra. OK. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. This is gorgeous. Wow. Pretty, huh. right? The only thing you need off that tray now is the lemon and the microplane. And uh, you need your can of caviar. We're going to get the caviar tin open, then we're going to vinaigrette, then we're going to caviar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. When that shit's <laughs> Working all over around. Uh, uh, we open one. Now, let me know when you have the lid off. <laughs> I would love to help you, but I can't turn around. Can't turn around. <laughs> All right, so now yes. be generous. This is really lovely caviar, yeah, and you're Tristan. really lovely people. So nice spoonfuls of caviar all over the carpaccio. Now, I've never played it with caviar before. You just kind of plunk it on, or am I like making it rain caviar? You can do whatever. I I make, I'm going to make it rain. I don't know what How you're... often do you get to play with caviar? <laughs> Oh. This is the caviar. Should, do I want to use this whole can or what? Really salty. I would use about half the can. We're going to take your like smaller crackles. spoon and I want you to drizzle, but kind of avoiding the caviar if possible. Wow. And I don't want to cover up all the beautiful knife work of the scallops oh, yeah. and all that stuff that you guys did. And then you guys saw the pizza series, right? I don't know if you remember Molly's signature one, two tap. Yes. But dragging the lemon back and forth and then little tap to release the zest. One, two tap. Back to the olive oil, very oh, sparingly this time, just a topper whopper. And then a little flaky salt. Just gentle, oh, gentle so bit hot. of blizzard. Wow. Early kerfluffle. Okay. What about this bread that we didn't touch? Oh yeah, the bread. Great, great. Oh my God, you guys All are on bread. it. Oh, just no. want to make um, Keith, you're back triangles, in. so cut. Diagonal and then Come diagonal over, again. I got you. Man. I just okay. don't want to put the bread on the beautiful plate. We'll have it when we sit down. Just cut it for now. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> okay. Wow, wow. Oh my God, so good. No, that's super necessary. <laughs> We're adding our own spin. We're doing it. Ready thing. for the spin? Yeah. I mean, no. Oh my God, this you're gonna love this. So cute. Oh yes. You know, uh, we can't wait. Ready? Ready? One, okay. two, two, three. three. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Very 
good. I had no idea four people could do something so beautiful. Well, and it was. It turns was a out. real true collab. Okay, welcome oh, wow. to our um, Carpaccio restaurant. Wonderful. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> What's it called? The ambiance. Two um, orders today. Wow. What's it's the called name of the Luxury Carpaccio Inc. Ooh, yeah. incorporated. <laughs> So I'm gonna um, sample yours, yes. and um, I don't know where to place this. What yeah, you right. You, can you I have picked some it off. Wow. You know, I'll make everybody a little snackle. Wow, so I'm lucky. Oh, you I want the bat? I want you to eat. Ready? Yeah. Mm, can't wait. Cheers. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Mm. So cold and mm. delicious. Mm -hmm. That lemon and vinegar just really mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. caviar. lightens it up. Four stuff. It's amazing. The technique here is very excellent. Really? <laughs> and whatever whatever was happening with the beef is imperceptible to my eye. A thing wow. of the past. Yeah. It's just wow. down below. It's meat wow. plate. This you is know what I mean? totally <laughs> delicious. I can't believe how good this is. I love the scallop a lot. Do we need to show Chris a bit? Chris Morocco, do you yeah. want to see how beautiful this carpaccio yeah, is? You, uh, you. Oh, wow. I told my friends that when I came here, as if I could get Chris to check what I made, because oh, that seems to be everyone's like, hey, Chris, can you, what do you think? And you're always like, <laughs> my validation will only go so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it a perfect is. bite. It's a perfect oh, bite. Yes. Club. There you go, boss. All right, thank you guys. Yeah, Chris Morocco. It's really good. I know, for me too, it's salt validation. from the caviar? Yeah. It's so good. Sets off everything. <laughs> Wow. Thank you, wow. Chef. Wow. Thank caviar you, chef. is good. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank Thank we all yeah. open the caviar. So. I'm here for this, you guys. Yes. Yeah. 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 At the end of the day, the important thing is to um, try Carpaccio and also try the Try Guys book. Mm -hmm. Right? And there are two great things that go great together. Yeah, if you put Carpaccio <laughs> on our book, it tastes way better. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Instead of a meat plate, try a book plate. Uh -huh. Their book. Cover our book and meat. <laughs> <laughs> and then top it off with caviar.